Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to be looking at this Priory tea trolley from around about 1950s and we're going to be changing this from something that's nice but a little bit dull, brown, in not the best condition and changing it into something really stylish and that will look great in your home. Stay tuned and hopefully you'll enjoy the end result. Hi, I'm David and I restore, restyle and refinish old and loved furniture. I use a variety of methods and techniques to bring this forgotten furniture back to life. Welcome to my channel. As always, my first step is to give the piece a thorough cleaning using my favourite degreaser spray called Elbow Grease. And I do this on every piece that I start with. I was quite fortunate with these tables in that I actually managed to find two at the same time. I've only videoed one because I did the same design on each. Just explaining that because you may see a diff you may see two of these tables in future uh, future shots. As you can see there, that's why I always clean first. The wheels that came on this were the original and they were in reasonable condition, not too bad. So I just wanted to clean these up and sort of pull them into the overall design. As you can see there, they've got a lot of surface rust on them. So first thing to do is clean off that surface rust. A couple of the solid rubber tyres had come out of the wheel tracks. So all I'm doing here is I'm just using a flathead screwdriver just to push them in and then tapping that home with a little hammer. I got these as clean as possible using the wire brush and removed all the surface rust, did all the repairs and then the next step was to mask these up ready for paint because they needed a completely new look for the end design. This work to treat for getting rid of this finish on the detailed parts of the legs. It's a very fine brass bristled brush and I was actually surprised how well it worked. Where's your teddy? Where's your teddy? Shut up, come on. Come on. Out of it, you. What have you got? 
We got Bully. <gasps> Bring him here. <laughs> what? He bored again. What do you want? What do you want? As you can see, this is the first coat of paint being applied and the entire piece got three coats in total. The next step is a significant part of the overall design of this piece and adds to the complete transformation. I love this wallpaper that I'm using here. I've used it a number of times and it's quite simple. You just simply use a good adhesive. You paste the furniture. This is the way I do it anyway. Uh, you cut the piece of paper that you need and just simply wallpaper your furniture. As long as you use a good adhesive and you seal the paper afterwards, which I'll show you in just a moment in the video. I'd like to thank everyone for the support they've shown me um, so far in my channel. This isn't my main sort of area of expertise, videoing and editing and hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, please like, because it really does help the channel. And if you feel I've earned it, please consider subscribing. Thanks again. In the overall design of this piece, I need a handle and I'm simply making one here using some wardrobe pole ends, for want of a better term, and a broomstick. So I'm simply measuring it up, doing a test fit, cutting the broomstick to size, and then it's just a case of painting that up and refixing it to the furniture. Here's a little tip for you. I need to paint the entire broomstick here. So 
I need something to hold. So all I'm doing is I'm just adding a couple of screws in the end and that will allow me to hold the broomstick while I paint it. And it's not, uh, it's not rocket science, but I thought I'd share that tip with you. As I mentioned previously, when decoupaging, you do need to seal the paper that you've used. In this case, I'm using something called Polyvine Decorators Varnish, which is like an acrylic poly. And I've used this quite a lot, it's great stuff. You just simply, you can either spray it on, brush it on, and I'm just using a sponge applicator in this case. In total, it's had three coats over the paper and I use a different protection for the rest of the piece. To protect the rest of the piece, I used a clear furniture wax. Just simply apply that sparingly with the brush, let it dry and then buff off with a soft cloth. What I'm pointing out here is there's a slight amount of spray where the masking tape didn't do its job and I can't leave it like that. I've got a bit of OCD. So this is me just finishing that off with a craft knife blade just to make it nice and neat. The next step is to add some detail to the beautiful legs. And all I'm doing here is just masking off the areas that I don't want this on and this is Liberon Gilt Cream which is like a gilding wax uh, just applying that with a small artist brush and it really gives a nice effect thanks again for watching I hope you've liked the video and I really hope you like the finished piece